Traditional cloning methods involving restriction, digestion, and ligation rely on identifying pre-existing recognition sites or introducing new recognition sequences, leaving scars that are problematic for large synthesis projects. Sequence-independent cloning methods, such as SLIC, employ terminal overlaps of homologous DNA to assemble inserts and vectors without scars. This enables the efficient assembly of six or more overlapping DNA fragments. However, the presence of secondary single-stranded DNA structures, such as hairpins or stem loops, can compete with the desired assembly in E. coli bacteria. This lack of accuracy is not suited to large synthesis projects, such as building synthetic genomes. Craig Venter and colleagues created the first synthetic bacterial genome by recombining overlapping DNA fragments in yeast. Yeast has a natural capacity for homologous recombination, so it is great for sequence-independent cloning methods. The downside in yeast is that there is a high false positive rate for transformations, due to empty assembly vectors recirculating via non-homologous end joining. This requires the recovery of empty plasmids from yeast into E. coli, which is very labour-intensive and compromises yeast application for large synthesis projects. RADON stands for Rapid Assembly of DNA Overlapping Multifragments, and unlike other yeast assembly methods, it allows for the extraction of empty plasmids from the total population of yeast transformants. DNA insert fragments that share at least 40 base pair terminal homology with each other and with the linearized assembly vector are co-transformed into yeast for assembly via homologous recombination. Critically, the assembly vector must be linearized in the LAC-Z alpha gene to enable downstream blue-white screening. The assembly vector must also encode selection and replication genetic information for both yeast and E. coli. Post-vector assembly in yeast transformants are then selected and combined into a single pool for plasmid recovery. After transformation in E. coli, blue-white screening distinguishes blue colonies with empty vectors from white colonies in which at least some of the inserts are assembled into the desired vectors. Colony PCR then identifies E. coli colonies encoding full-length inserts that can be verified by sequencing. This approach allows you to select against empty vector assemblies and is much more suited to large synthesis projects.